ever driven through the Columbia River Gorge and you'll probably notice those long barges on the water and you ever wonder what life is like aboard one? Our video journalist Bill Cortez hopped on the Crown Point towboat to find out. Boy, you got the green light. Okay, thank you very much. You have a good morning, Crown Point. All right, guys, we got a green light to go. Green light. My name is Darren Smith. I'm a pilot at Tidewater Transportation. And right now, this morning, we are just leaving the Dalles Lock and Dam. Today, we have three loaded grain barges. We're taking downriver and an empty solid waste barge. A tow like this, we're 650 feet long, which is the same exact length of the locks. The locks are 86 feet wide. The tow, 84. Right now, I'm prying my bow off the wall. How much paint are you leaving behind? <laughs> Maybe a little bit on the stern of that barge right there. This is one of the parts that is the more interesting, uh, more stressful, where you need to be paying attention more, getting in and out of the locks. After this, we'll be cruising for five hours. The pilot's watch started at midnight. It's now 6 a.m., the captain's watch. Time for Darren to hand over control of the boat. We didn't meet no one last night then? Nope. Okay. Saw no boats last night. Okay. Uh, didn't talk to dispatch. Mate Ryan Jones takes the helm, learning to drive the boat under the supervision of Captain Terry Oxley. Okay. Rudder sink, 7, 16, yep. 13, 14. 13, 14, 16. All right. Nothing new then, huh? Nothing new. Perfect. That's what we like. <laughs> All right. I'll see All right. you guys. Catch you guys later. Darren leaves the wheelhouse and heads downstairs for some much needed rest. I work from midnight till 6 in the morning, have six hours off, and then work from noon till 1800, and rotate six hours on, six hours off for 15 days. How are you guys doing? All right, good. How are you? Good. good. Cap? I'm out of here. You guys ready for bed? There are six crew members on the Crown Point. John Wilfung, the deck mechanic, is just coming on shift, while Darren and the other deck mates head to their staterooms for a few hours of sleep. This is a 24-7 operation. The boat never stops. In 1932, Lou Russell Sr. started transporting industrial commodities from port to port along the Columbia River. Ten years later, he established the Tidewater Shaver Transportation Company. In 1960, Tidewater became a full-fledged independent tug and barge company under the name of Tidewater Barge Lines. Today, it is the largest company of its kind west of the Mississippi River, transporting cargo from the inland port of Lewiston, Idaho, all the way to Astoria, Oregon, a distance of 465 miles. Tidewater operates a fleet of 160 barges and 16 towboats, one of which is the state-of-the-art Crown Point. I'm looking for my lineup for the bridge. Find your green light. I thought I was shooting for it. Early Saturday morning, they approach the Hood River Bridge. The strapped together barges are 84 feet wide, and the bridge opening is 246 feet. But with the 650 foot long tow, getting the right angle on approach is critical. Dang it. Not quite dead center. Close enough. I'd rather be here than over there. Well, Terry, how do you do thread the needle there? You've done good. Real good. Couldn't have done any better myself. <laughs> Below decks, John makes sure everything is running efficiently. My name is John Wolfong, and I'm a deck mechanic here for Tidewater. Every watch has a checklist that it needs to go through to make sure that everything's getting covered that needs to be at all times. Eyes and ears on the boat. Eyes and ears, we just always moving around, seeing what's happening, information we can pass on. It's a different kind of a lifestyle, that's for sure. Two weeks on, two weeks off, we punch the clock once when we get on. We do two six-hour watches a day. It's a bit of an endurance test, I guess, actually working on a tugboat. Five hungry men. They like to eat, they like their chili. Riley, you gotta get up and work like everybody else. Lights coming on. John wakes up the crew for the next watch and for lunch. Johnny's chili. Yeah, Johnny's chili. Is this the best part of the day, lunch? Yeah. You know it. You see all the smiles. 
Mule times are occasions for members of the crew to get together, for camaraderie, to share information, and to swap sea stories. A sea lion in the locks that rolled along the barges with only two feet for about 200 feet. No. I have the best office view around <laughs> here in the gorge. It's just it's fantastic. Uh, there's always something different. You see something different, you do something different every day, and I think that's what makes this job what it is. Day five for this crew is coming to an end. Only 10 more left and 1,500 miles to go. Oh, that's gonna be nice to get home and sleep in. Aboard the Crown Point on the mighty Columbia River, Bill Cortez, Coin 6 News.